Hey, what's up, Suds? Ryan here, or MNR Productions, and welcome to my review of the first 2019 LEGO Star Wars Battle Pack. Unfortunately, it's not a 501st Battle Pack, but it is an Elite Praetorian Guard Battle Pack from Star Wars The Last Jedi. Let's get that new Star Wars The Last Jedi styled Stormtrooper, first order Stormtrooper, that is, and three Elite Praetorian Guards. 109 pieces for $15. You're getting those Praetorian Guards in a very cheap set. Kind of surprised they ended up in a Battle Pack of all things. Like, after coming to the $70 Snoke Star Room, I thought these things were going to be pretty hard to come by but they did throw them in a battle pack there's a side of one the ones in this set though have regular legs instead of like the like special molded like long dress legs i don't know but i do like the regular legs on them so there you go get an action scene on the back of the box again 15 dollars in the u.s the tag on the bottom says 20 because i got this from ash and flash in canada shout out to ash and flash i love these little side box art images with the fade into the box art of course you got the new 2019 box art with the white pieces and the darth vader on the top right not too bad if you do enjoy their Review, give it a like if you have anything to say about this set leave it in the comment section below and if you want to check out my speed build there's a link down below to see this get built up anyway let's bring over the full set and take a look at the minifigs the first minifigure up is a regular last jedi edition first order stormtrooper and these are just coming to the american versions of the set but you can see the original last jedi helmet was a little bit of a thicker design on the lines on the helmet and now they've kind of thinned it out there on the left so you'll expect to see a noticeable change on the helmets it's a bit awkward but I think it's for the better that they thinned it down. It looks decent. If we take it off, you're going to find the same, like, First Order Sheriff Trooper face under there. So, unfortunately, I didn't bother to change that. You have kind of the same torso print, same waist and leg print. Nothing really changed there. And then, of course, he has a stud shooter for his weapon. We will have a bunch of extra studs in the set as well. Just a nice First Order Stormtrooper to add to your army. I, I enjoy this as the throw-in figure. The two other figures, or two of the figures that are the same here, are these two Praetorian Guards. They have this helmet design there which is a decent helmet design it's basically like a big umbrella on top of their helmet i kind of like it i think it looks pretty cool it's new for 2019 the other praetorian guard however has the helmet that was in the snoke's throne room set guards however the legs are different you see how they use like the dress leg versus now you have the the posable legs the prints aren't all that different but they are different so i guess you look at it that way you see how they've kind of shortened up the print to make it halfway up the shin not too bad a look they have the same shin or rather shoulder guards just the only thing that's really different is that uh, leg piece, and I like the I like the regular legs because I feel like it gives you more ability to play with the figures as opposed to when you have that dress cape leg thing on. Not a fan of that, but I like these figures. I think they're nice for a battle pack, and I think you'll be happy with them too. Not too bad. Not a bad selection. You can really build up a nice army with your first order stormtrooper back there too. The PlayStation part of this set is this little stand where you can have two figures fight each other. It's kind of reminiscent of the Duel on Mustafar set from 2005. Pretty old set, but it's kind of the same concept. So you basically have two figures. You give them both a weapon from the weapons rack here on the left side, which is removable. It's just on that little stud there. Pretty easy to move on and off. However, if you take it off and you have the two longer weapons on there, not really going to be the best. But if we take the two longer weapons, because that's what they kind of show them fighting with on the box, and they are very, very large, like, spear pieces. Very cool. I actually really like what they've done with these. So you have that one, and then you have this weapon as well, which you can go side by side with a couple Praetorian guards with. We'll give him one, and we'll give one to another figure. So we can set him in here. He gets his stand, and these do spin around 360 degrees. You can get them all the way around, which is pretty cool. And then you can take another figure, give him the other little weapon here. Yeah, I'll put it in the left hand. And then you can have them duke it out. So that's easily, like, the only... That's really, like, the main feature of this, obviously. So now you can kind of have them on these little spinny things, and you can have them duke it out. I suspect this would be a lot more fun if I was about 10 years younger, but... I, I can see the I can see the novelty in this. Like I think it's actually a for for a really small set. It's something outside of the box for a battle pack. So props for that. Like really love this little build. And it's in the same like color scheme. And even the shape of it is very similar to the Snoke's throne room set. So I actually do give Lego props for that for kind of giving a little nod to that set. So this would actually go very well side by side with that. Now you also have this little droid here, which is included. It's kind of like an extra half minifigure. Not too bad on this clear stand it's got a red lightsaber probably holding it for i don't know supreme leader snoke i have no idea why he's holding a red lightsaber it's very awkward that a droid is holding a red lightsaber but it's kind of cool and it also has this black little weapon piece 
very nice little gun there so you can have this thing kind of hop on and fight other figures too and you could actually you know stab them in the back there so you get a little extra playability out of places you might not expect and again you just place these things on and off of those one stud things there so not too bad the other weapons included are this little like chain on a spear thing pretty awkward weapon but still like like i like what lego's done with the praetorian guard weapons i think they've included a bunch of like cool different designs and this is another one of them that's just a good example of lego just kind of coming up with something cute i guess so you have that one and then you have this one which i think is my favorite in the set there it is in the guard's hand not a bad look for that weapon kind of really like that one just low key but not too bad with the weapon selection for the praetorian guards and then you kind of have the stormtrooper here off to the side I saw a meme on Instagram. It was like basically they they took the picture of the the box art for the set and it was basically when you get invited to a party and you don't know anybody else because the first order star trooper really is just kind of standing there on the side of everyone so i thought that was a pretty funny meme but overall this is a really cool battle pack i think people are going to be really excited for the most part to be able to get praetorian guards in a set that isn't egregiously overpriced it's a 15 dollars battle pack you'll often find it for 13 12 dollars, sometimes even less depending on the sale so i would definitely hold out if you don't want to pay full price for a battle pack but not a bad selection of minifigures I think you can't go wrong here if you're a fan of The Last Jedi, and I know some people aren't, but it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think about this set in the comment section below. I really like it. I think it's a great battle pack. I don't plan on buying too many. I don't think a lot of people do because Praetorian Guards aren't really something you want 100 up, but I think it's nice to have a few. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. That's my thoughts on the Praetorian Guard battle pack. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, like, and I will see you guys in the next review. Check out any of the other videos on this end screen here in a second. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.